folks, we're at Grundy Lake. Peace. Today we are at Grundy Lake, sort of a pseudo honeymoon type of thing. I uh, decided to come here because there's um, kayak backcountry spots so that we could bring Zilla with us. So this is gonna be Zilla's first, uh, it's not a portage, but her first like kayaking backcountry camping trip. For now, we're just on a hike at the Gut Lake Trail. Zilla, are you enjoying it? Yeah? <laughs> she says yes. Last night we slept in a car. <laughs> Hello, sleeping pad. Uh, you use these bug nets for for the windows so you can actually still get airflow without letting the bugs in. Very uncomfortable at first just because our car is so tiny, but once once you kind of found a decent position, it was actually okay and I fell asleep relatively quickly. Now that I'm awake, uh, I don't feel that bad. So I think it's totally viable in a pinch. We're lost, aren't we? That way. This does not look like a trail. Man, Zilla, how much do you weigh? She gets heavier and heavier every step. One of the more famous things to be able to do here is to go cliff diving. Oh, there he goes. We might do that a little bit later. Um, not with this one in the bag. I, I got laser eye surgery recently, so it may just be Vicky jumping because I don't know if I can actually do it. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're on a honeymoon. PDA. That's the cutest little monster. Hmm? Mom, stop. <laughs> We're gonna be going paddle in backpacking. So essentially, instead of backpacking like you hike a trail, we you paddle in. There's no portage on this one, but whether you're portaging or backpack paddling, um, some people have asked like, how Zilla, who goes on all of our adventures with us, we take her uh, cycling, we take her hiking, we take her kayaking and all that sort of stuff. And some people have asked like, what's our setup for that? So here's our kayak. We have an open, Kayak. Vicky would sit up here with her. We would strap her in, we'd tie her in, and she's also got her life jacket. And therefore, she just kind of sits and she chills up front. And if she does fall out or whatnot, she has her life jacket and she will be leashed to the boat so that she can't like drift too far away. Uh, and that's basically it. And then in terms of our paddling with our backpacks, uh, we have a very large tandem kayak. So I'll sit back there and then we have all this open space in the middle and that middle part is where we would put all of our, our gear. So our backpacks and our food and our camping supplies and all that sort of jazz. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are currently here in this little inlet and we're going to be paddling across the lake to our campsite right over here. Gut Lake Trail, that's the one we did before, is very pretty, highly recommended. And there's cliff jumping on this side of Gut Lake, so if you come on the north side, there's cliff jumping there. I'm not sure if there's some more around Grundy Lake. Once we start paddling, we'll check it out and see if there's anything to find. You good? Yeah. Yeah. Zilla, you ready? Yeah. Yep, 
sight. So we paddled all the way from over there, all the way to over here. We made it. That was easy. Five minutes into paddling, Vicky was already like, oh, I've been in the sun too long. <laughs> right, V? Oh, says you, you know you're paddling. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh, my flip flops are floating away. One, two, three, up. Come on, Zilla, baby. Show me your swimming. Oh, Good job. Good girl. Good girl. Like, I'm out of here. Oh, she's like, get me out of this water immediately. Oh, my God, she just walked her back. She did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, she's playing with the froggies. It is a beautiful campsite. You know, we're raised up, overlooking the water. It's in the shade. It's great. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, these big steel bins, when you're in the back country, these are for you to store like your food and things like that, so that bears can't actually get to it. Not every campsite has this though. Let's just check out if we have some thunder boxes to go poop at. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what a thunder box is, it's basically like a porta potty. There's nobody else around you generally in the back country. You don't necessarily need the full like a porta potty shelter uh, with the walls and everything. So instead they just have this. If you lift that lid, it will show just uh, basically like a hole in the wooden structure and you just sit there and you poop into it and you close it all up. And that's, oh, Zilla just ran <laughs> to, to find me. Hi Zilla, baby, don't play around here. This is poop area. Pretty, no? In order to get the time lapse that you're gonna see, this is what I had to do. One of my GoPros, uh, but I didn't bring a, like a tripod mount for it. So I found this rock that like perfectly has a little V cut out that could sit this handle, the floaty handle on it. And then I tied a counterweight to the end with another rock to keep it balanced so that it can uh, aim out at the view. Hopefully get me uh, a decent time lapse. So probably not enough time to actually go cliff diving, but I think we're gonna at least jump into the, the lake, use it as a shower, as well as cool it off, getting rid of all that sweat. Here you go swimming. I can't tell if you're having a fun time or not. Oh, ooh, V, look off to this side. There's a big flat rock that's in shallow water. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Private swimming hole. Benefits of having a backcountry campsite. <laughs> Zilla, you ready to get in the water? Oh, you're shaking, honey. You scared. I think she should just sunbathe. Yeah, we can just leave her here. Hanging my feet over the edge. Did you watch Lake Placid with me the other day? <laughs> it's the, the alligator that was Why would you say that now? <laughs> yeah. so a bunch of people would just be on the edge of an abyss like this, and then they would get eaten by an alligator. I disagree. Okay, I made this big deal about how, like, Grundy Lake is good for cliff diving, and then we didn't end up having time or energy to like go all the way to the cliffs where you normally would cliff dive. Um, and I feel like that's a big, a big lapse in the story if we don't have anything on cliff diving. I'll take one for the team. So, so <laughs> he's gonna take one for the team. We just have this tiny, tiny little, tiny little cliff, and Vicky is going to be a super trooper and and do the cliff dive for us, okay? So this is just for you because I feel bad that we have like absolutely no cliff diving in it. So this is gonna be for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Our tiny cliff. It's still a cliff. Ah! It's a cliff to ants, okay? <laughs> good job, honey. Thank I jumped you. high. I jumped high. Yeah, you jumped high. You did good. <laughs> Are you laughing at us, Stella? Are you laughing, baby? <laughs> Shall we dry off, get up, and get some dinner? 
We gotta cook. Yeah. Question. How many frogs do you see in this like two square foot area? Ready? Count them. Three, two, one. Okay, here's the answer. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess that one's kind of out of frame, but six, oops, in the water there. And seven there. There's seven frogs just right here. There's two more hopping around over there. Yeah, and there's a bunch more everywhere else.